Hey everyone, welcome back to another heavy metal diecast video, and today we have one here in one seventy-second scale diecast. Of course, it is by Aviation Seventy-Two. It is the Fallen Nat here from the Royal Aircraft Establishment from the RAF, of course, and this is a British-made subsonic compact jet fighter uh, used both as a trainer and a light fighter by the RAF, and a number of other countries use this particular aircraft as well. It was introduced into RAF service in nineteen fifty-nine, though, and it did last twenty years. It was uh, retired in uh, 1979 eventually and there were 449 aircraft made in all their variants of course and um, we'll open this little box up I paid I think around $40 for this it wasn't a great deal and well wow that is a, a little that is a little bird indeed um, we'll have a look. it's got a little um, window so you can see the aircraft inside without actually opening the box and uh, wow that is tiny <laughs> <laughs> that is a gnat for sure. Um, I suppose gnat sounds a lot better than tick or flea, but uh, how about we uh, get this little gnat out of the box and have a real good look at this aircraft. Okay, with this little gnat, and I mean little, out of the box, it does come with actually a little certificate, so uh, there are a limited amount made. It is paper though, like a sort of a soft paper. We will turf that to the side, we'll get this packet open. And it does come with a little stand, obviously, in the side here. And this little uh, gnat in here, nice and snug. Um, it does, uh, what's that? it does have a little spare, I think, some spare bits. or No, it does have some uh, little accessories here that we need to, I think they go on the wingtips there. Um, we'll move this packet out of the way and have a look at this uh, this gnat. <laughs> and uh, have a real good look at it. Now... Sausage finger test, right, straight away. This thing is tiny. This is this is really small. So um, that's for a modern for a modern fighter. I suppose this is one of the smallest uh, modern fighters I've ever um, had. And when I say yeah, modern, you know, this is a, a 50s era jet. And wow, this is this is really small. But it's got a fair bit of weight to it actually. And um, the actual details itself. Is very nice. The paint on it is really good. It's quite glossy. We'll just see if we can get some uh, details in there. Show you some panel lines if we can. We can do that. And I'll try and keep these sausage fingers out of your way so you can actually see the aircraft. It's it's kind of pretty hard because, as you can see, it is quite small. We'll, we'll have a little look down the tail here, and there's some minor engine detail does have all the uh, correct markings on there. It does have some fantastic detail on it, though. That is some great detail on the nose. We'll turn it around. And try and get it to focus. <laughs> it's so small, the camera's uh, struggling to see it properly. And, uh, look, to be honest, it's not too bad. It, it is actually well built. This model is uh, quite well made. I don't mind it at all. And um, like for this particular subject, I mean, this isn't you know, my favourite aircraft of all time. I don't know a ton about this in my little bit of research. I did read there, there have been quite a lot of accidents um, in in this aircraft. But I, I reckon this is a really tidy looking model. And, um, you know, would look nice in your collection. We'll turn it over and have a little look underneath. And as you can see, everything's done. So all the landing gear and everything is on there. Obviously, your stand will go in that little hole there. But it's got some great detail underneath there. And it's just a, you know, just a strange little aircraft, to be honest. <laughs> but I reckon it comes up quite, quite neat. But what, what we'll do is I'll quickly put those little uh, bits on the wings and we will uh, come right back in a second and look at it properly. So the only piece of assembly is putting these on and um, they are actually metal. These are all metal as well. So um, you won't have any problems bending them. They slip straight in and um, this sets up really nice and it's uh, straightforward. And that, well, as I said, that's the only bit of assembly you need to do. And this aircraft is all ready to uh, chuck on your shelf or if you want to put it on the stand, let's see if we can manage to put this on the stand without mupping it up and dropping it because it is quite small and of course if I'm going to video something it's the time to go wrong so you just chuck it on the stand like so and that is Nat oh 
bad bad dad joke that that is that <laughs> all right i will uh i will zoom in a fraction on this thing because it is tiny i mean look at that that is that is a small aircraft for sure and look these are relatively inexpensive but the build itself is very nice i don't have a problem with this build i think it's it is quite quite good um sometimes aviation 72 can be a little bit hit and miss with their aircraft like their tornado that i uh picked up um had some issues in it but um this this little nat here i reckon is pretty pretty cool and uh, you know if you're trying to get uh, a collection of all sorts of aircraft um, this is definitely one to sort of grab. I reckon it does look pretty cool and it sets up nicely and the build quality is pretty good as well. And it's relatively cheap. You'll, you'll probably be able to pick these up relatively cheap as well. All right, guys. So once again, this is the Fallen Nat and I will take some photos of this and uh, chuck them on at the conclusion of the video, of course. If you did like it, hey, you know, throw us a bit of a like and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're yet to do so. And this is by Aviation72, 172nd scale diecast, of course, and it is the Fallen Nat T1. And uh, I reckon it is a nice, nice looking build for sure. And for, for what it is, of course. I mean, it, it is no Phantom. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much once again for watching another one of my videos. I do appreciate that, of course. You all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.